Hi, today we would like to give you an update on our van, Sunny, and uh, where we are currently at. Yeah, so we have a few things that we bought, a few things that we improved already, some tiny things that we want to show you. So uh, yeah, that's what this video will be about. Yeah, and we will show you what is coming your way, basically what is coming our way, since we still have to do a lot of work in order to get this in, the, in its final shape. But uh, let me just get the stuff and show you what, uh, what is coming up. So. so first off we got the new tent for our pop top which is really exciting one of our worries was that it would be a little bit dark for our fan but luckily when we got it we were quite happy with the color so let me just get it out oh, got it so here it is as you can see it is a nice light gray it looks really nice fabric it looks really nice with the color of our yellow fan it gives it a little bit more of a modern look than when we would have gone for example a more beige color so uh, yeah, we also have some more brownish colors in the fan, so it will be a mix of modern and more retro, but I think that's a, yeah, that's a good combination. <laughs> and what's also nice to mention is that this one is for the later pop-top models, which we also have. So what the later models have is that you have a little plinth where you can uh, screw the tent under, and earlier models, they have it uh, attached to it with... Uh, staples. Staples, that's the word. So uh, we have one that is, I think, mostly for the newer rooftops, so um, yeah, let's hope it will fit. And it has basically these three windows. So you have this cross ventilation, which is of course super nice when you go out for a, for a trip. It has these special seams that uh, are made to actually fit in, uh, in our uh, van. So, uh, well, basically we will be installing the tent in a later video. Okay, so let's check what is next in our box. Oh, this is already a very nice one to start with. So. One thing we bought is this beautiful uh, yeah, window to go inside our pop top. Yeah, so the fun fact here is that we actually ordered this to be brown. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see it. Let me just walk up to the camera. But actually, we believe it's more pinkish. Which is uh, kind of cool, right? It's a really retro brown, pink, purplish color. And as you can see, I like the color already. We were actually searching for a clear window, but they are really hard to get. Um, also, if they are uh, available, then they're usually not insulated. And we like the fact that this one is uh, like the original models is insulated. So that's why we in the end went for this one. So maybe it's uh, cool to just quickly put it on our top and Sounds get an plan. impression of how it will look in the end. So it's really nice that you put it up there and you have a little bit of a pinkish, uh, reddish hue in the pop top. But in the van itself, we have so many windows that the color of the light is not uh, really influencing the whole space. So And I actually think it's super cool. It fits the vibe <laughs> of our van pretty well. Yeah, we're going say. 80s, right? <laughs> exactly. So we have one more thing that we ordered and that's the new rubbers or seals for the, for the roof. It's funny story, we wanted to go for a solution that we could find, which was uh, rubbers for the roof. And then somehow, I think I saw online someone saying like, actually you need these rubbers, which is, all, uh, which is more like the original. So what's the difference is that this is all from one piece, and the other ones have yeah, something like a little bit of a bumper, I'd say, uh, attached to the rubbers, uh, which makes them a bit more bulky, and we really like the sleek look of the original and we never had any problems with the blue van with it so we uh, yeah we're very happy that we found this one in the end so there's two types of rubbers that you can buy for our van um, we bought the one that actually comes with only two uh, rubbers one for the luggage rack so that goes around the luggage rack the second part goes all around the pop-top part and that contains of two uh, types of rubbers in one, if I can uh, say it like that, it's <laughs> let me explain it a bit further. Uh, basically you have a thicker part that is to protect the luggage rack or to seal off the luggage rack and the pop top together so that there's no wind under it and the other part is more for uh, protection from uh, protecting the roof from the pop top. So to summarize, first and foremost we will focus on finishing the roof, which means new rubbers. Uh, sanding it, grinding it, repainting it. And repairing it first, the cracks. And repairing it indeed. 
and then installing that beautiful window that we uh, just saw. After that we actually plan to go on a short trip to yes. see well, what, what's it like to actually go on a trip in this van, Sunny? Could be important to know. But after that we want to start working on the interior. So, what you can see in the background, we have this beautiful aluminum foil type of, um, I don't know, insulation. But we think it's made of glass fiber and that is not the best way to insulate our uh, van. So we want to do some research onto what type of insulation we want. Sound insulation, warmth insulation as well. Um, yeah, and then we can uh, find out what we want in our van. So, and lastly, we will have to focus on the engine as well. We have had some trouble in the past with this engine. It's not super reliable. Uh, and we also have some coolant issues. So I guess that there's a lot to do for us, but <laughs> yes. we'll take it step by step. And of course, we're very happy if you join us along our journey.